The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside soccer coach Richard Moody, I'm Mark and Sarah here on seeingeagles.com. And the coach, your team coming off of an overtime victory over Anderson, a 1-0 win here that you clinched on it. An OT goal by Alex Brandon. You have a game against King coming up this season, your final non-conference game of the season for the women. Do you approach this game any differently as being a non-conference game than you would a conference opponent? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we were, you know, we didn't use too much of the depth on Saturday to get the result, and so I think there's a lot of girls that, that are maybe a little bit fresher, uh, and I think trying to trying to rest some bodies for Saturday, but trying to get some girls playing time uh, on Wednesday. I think that's a, a goal right now that we have as a staff. So yeah, I think we'll approach it a little bit different. Now your team, the last three games, they've only scored four goals, but they've won two out of those three games. The defense has really been a big part of those last few victories. Has it, how nice has it been to see the team succeed in a situation where the offense hasn't been playing as well as it did early in the season, but your team is still getting victories? Yeah, it's, it's good to see, you know, and uh, they're actually probably better games to be a part of, those 1-0, you know, 2-1 close games. Uh, you know, defensively, they have to stay engaged, they don't switch off, and Offensively, you know, the chances are few and far between, so they mean more in front of goal, you know. And so, uh, we still on the weekend, I was looking at the shot count, I think it was like 24 or 26 to 7. So, we're still creating chances, but, you know, as teams that we play in the schedule now, uh, this latter part of the schedule are getting better, uh, the chances aren't as good as what they had been in, in recent games. So, you know, we're still creating chances, just got to learn how to put them away against these better teams. Now, you mentioned you were getting towards the, the end or the back part of the schedule. How has the team performed at this point in the season compared to what your expectations were coming in? Oh, fantastic. The team's, uh, the, t the team's been brilliant. I still think, though, uh, I look at the the two losses and, uh, you know, I, I think what could have been, you know, could we have turned those into wins? Uh, but right now, for the way that we're playing, the way we're performing, a uh, different game on Saturday, a team that was willing to come in and kind of sit back and, and deny us or allow us to have the football, which we were thankful for and uh, just sit back and, and hope they were going to catch us in the counter. I mean, it almost worked for them, but, uh, you know, our girls just were relentless. They kept working hard, and uh, they did exactly what we asked them to do. And so uh, I think we've seen it all so far this year. I don't think there's anything that any team can throw at us now that we haven't experienced. So. Do you feel like with all the goals your team scored early in the season, you're going to see a lot – you're going to see teams doing more of what Anderson did, just kind of sitting back in their zone and then hoping for an opportunity to spring, for, to spring up on the offensive end? Yeah, I think so. But, uh, you know, if any team chooses to do that again to us, I think we'll be better prepared for it. our girls. Uh, they're going to figure it out this week in practice for sure. And so, but again, it just shows, you know, I think uh, teams probably stand a better chance coming and trying to play against us, you know, than, than sitting back. I think we just have too much quality in the final third for us to not score. So, you know, LR, they, they had a good go at us and they, they did well, you know, and they, they were trying to win the game. I mean, uh, so so for me, I think it's we've seen everything now and, uh uh, I think for our girls, it's admirable that, you know, teams have changed how they play to play against us, and, and we've not. So we're going to keep being who we are and keep trying to focus on what we have to do. What do you expect to see from this King Club on Wednesday? Yeah, uh, It's a, a good team that's maybe underperforming right now. Uh, they've, they've been missing a few players due to injury. Uh, but I know for a fact they'll be well coached. I know for a fact they'll be disciplined and organized. Uh, but I also know they've had a few bad results. So, you know, if we can get up on the uh, get off on the right the right foot, you know, and, and start high intensity on them early and, and maybe pick up a quick goal, I think that, you know, we'd be able to we'll be able to win the game. But but again, a, a regional game, a, a must win game for us. Uh, uh, and so we'll need to we'll need to make sure that we, we look at look at all the scouting that we that we can and have all the information on that we can to make sure that we prepare the girls the best we can. All right, Coach. Well best of luck. Thanks for your time. Thanks, man. He's Richard Moody. I'm Mark and Sarah. This is CNEagles.com.